stop trying to put out products so fast and like, oh, here's another one, here's another one, here's another one. We only got so much money. Like, we only got so much money. The people who got all the goddamn money, you give them the stuff for free. So please help me understand why you keep coming out with stuff so fast. Like, we're in the middle of a global pandemic. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Wit here again with another video. So today, today I'm gonna be doing a little bit of roasting. Hmm. I'm gonna be talking about makeup products that I will not be buying. And this can be for various reasons. Um, one, I just don't want it. Two, I don't need it. Three, I already own something like it. Four, I don't like the brand. You know, yeah, it can be, it can be multiple things, okay? So um, if I have to say something in this video, let's say you like the product, you like the brand, it's okay for us to have differences in opinions, okay? It's okay, you can buy what you wanna buy. I don't want it. I'm not telling anybody not to buy this stuff. Well, some of it I might tell you not to buy. But listen, it's your money, do as you please. I'm just gonna be telling you the stuff that I am not interested in buying. I think these videos are fun because we always talk about all the stuff we do get. Um, so yeah, I don't know who started this trend, but I didn't create it, obviously. I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video, you probably watch other videos before you got to this one. So I'm gonna go onto Trend Moods page because that's the easiest place to find a, oh, 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 almost forgot, I almost forgot. Got to jump into the video. Hey, follow me on Instagram if you're not yet following me, okay? Like the video, comment, you know? Leave a comment down below letting me know um, what you're not gonna be buying, okay? And subscribe if you're not subscribed, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. <gasps> oh, I just um, got on Instagram like, Portia's daughter is so cute, PJ. Anyways, let's get the trend news page. I'm gonna be primarily focusing on makeup products. Let me make sure there's nothing. So Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with some new um, Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow. Okay, there is this trend that I've noticed brands doing. Like they have one successful launch and they just keep doing everything. Like NARS and Orgasm, Urban K and Naked, Charlotte Tilbury and Pillow Talk, Kat Von D and Lolita. Like these brands have that one thing that did them so well and it's like they don't know how to redo that again but yeah she's coming out with some lip and cheek glows and i won't be buying this just because i'm not into like cream stuff like that i like powder it's faster it's easier yeah oh minted cosmetics is coming out with some new bronzers and minted cosmetics is a black owned brand <laughs> i just finished filming a video using all black owned makeup brands so if you wanted to watch that and find out how i did this look um i will have that link down below i'm gonna be honest so the reason why i'm not gonna be buying this is just because i don't need a bronzer right now and so this is more so like I would buy it like I would probably buy this in the far far future but right now I don't need any I recently bought the Jouer bronzer a couple months ago and because of quarantine I have not hit pan on it I usually get through bronzers quicker but I'm not wearing makeup as frequently anymore and then I also just got the Tammy X Revolution her face palette so it's gonna be a while before I need anything so I'm more so just kind of like pumping the brake on that because bronzers are like they're fun but like they're not like eyeshadow was like you can have multiple like i don't really care to have that many bronzers <laughs> next hourglass is coming out with a new mascara the um unlocked mascara i haven't bought a mascara since 2013. i don't buy mascaras anymore i have so many of them that i have gotten from work and gratis and it takes me forever to finish one tube of mascara because I always wear falsies so I'm not gonna be buying that because I literally don't need it um next one Trixie Trixie Cosmetics I believe I don't follow her so much but I think isn't she um I know she's a drag queen right and she's coming out with her own cosmetics line and you know I'm happy for people who are living their dreams coming out with their own like you know makeup brands, but it just feels so overly saturated. But you know what, you know what, you know what? Let me not say that, that's wrong of me to say. Um, doesn't matter if a market is overly saturated. I believe that if that's what you are truly passionate about, then do that because I remember it was that same type of statement that discouraged me from doing YouTube for two years before I finally ended up doing it in 2016. So I take that back. By all means, do this. The brand is overall like, I feel like what um, she is launching first doesn't really appeal to me, but I feel like, you know how like the first launch, second launch might not appeal, but um, 
I think just what, what the colors initially, I don't wear stuff like this, but, but if she does come out with like, you know, that new type of lip gloss that I like, and it's a good formula after I've watched reviews, I might consider buying it. All right, next is Becca Cosmetics and they're coming out with their light clean primer and topper liquid eyeshadow. Then they're coming out with, oh, so the topper liquid eyeshadow is separate separate wording from that okay and it's duo so it has different shades and they're coming out with a hydra light plumping lip balm okay and then they're coming out with a hydra light plumping lip mask so the reason why i'm not gonna be getting any of these is because they honestly just don't look that appealing like i'm not opposed to getting more like you know duo shimmers because i definitely have something that i have my eyes on and i plan on buying it but these just don't look so they just don't look that interesting, to be quite honest, if I'm, if I'm being real. And then the lip plumping balm and lip, lip mask, I don't really care for lip plumping um, products. So yeah. Next, Harry Potter and Ulta. What is with these collabs that just like, like, so we're going to talk about this later, but Harry Potter and Ulta Beauty are collabing. It's kind of like when Morphe said they're collabing with Coke. How did, how did y'all get into the same room and come up with this whole thing? Like, Huh? And then not only is it Harry Potter and a makeup brand, it's a Ulta. Like, you know, like who talks about Ulta Beauty's in-store brand? Like nobody. <laughs> so it's just weird. And then I'm looking at the products. It looks ashy. It just looks dull. It looks boring. It looks unentertaining. And no, oh my gosh, the yellow one, the yellow palette is the worst. Like, uh, oh no next all right next up on the list is kylie cosmetics she is finally collabing with her last sister she has collabed with everybody in her family she even collabed with jordan woods before she collaborated collaborated with kendall and i was just like when is this gonna happen because i mean she did who did she do first was it chloe first and then she did courtney or kim at some point and she did chris and then jordan and then did she have that's it. That's that's all siblings she got. And I mean, I don't think Rob cares to have anything. <laughs> but yeah, so Kendall and her are collabing, collaborating. And this looks very, very um ashy. It looks like it's going to be something that these are just going to be transitional colors for me. Or if I wanted to, I could put a white base down and put those like um, lighter shades on the lid. But this palette doesn't have enough depth for my skin tone, so no. And then they're coming out with some um, with some glosses, right? Honestly, the whole co collaboration, it's cute, I guess you could say, but it's just, it's also not appealing to me, so I will not be getting that. Uh, Gucci, brother Gucci, come on down to the altar. First and foremost, I don't know. Okay, so Gucci's coming out with some new bronzers, and they're coming out with six shades, and it looks like they, they attempted attempted to actually be inclusive um they didn't they didn't quite pass <laughs> i just stared harder at um those colors and um no i was even being nice they no <sighs> what okay so i'm over these like super luxurious brands trying to come out with makeup products and it's very obvious it's very obvious that they don't they don't you know what actually let me let me talk about something real quick because I, I i meant to mention this in my previous video but i want to say it now i wanted to talk about the pull up or for change um movement that was started and the reason why it's important to have diversity within a company because you get stuff like what gucci's giving us like people are, are complaining talking about why is it matter? like you know they don't need to give their numbers out but there's a reason why you need diversity within your within the people who are creating and developing your makeup products like look at this come on now like how <sighs> it will always boggle my mind how a company will come out with bronzers and they have 50 shades of foundation and the bronzers or the contours you have can't even show up on the deepest shades of your foundation so this is a pass for me how much does it cost because that's another thing that's going to send me over $62? $62 for this bronzer? 
Absolutely not. You can go to Makeup Revolution and get you a huge pan. You can go to Morphe and get you a huge pan. You can go to so many different other brands and get you something huge for a whole lot less and has more shades. No, no. Mac and Tiana Taylor are collaborating and this looks really cute. It does look cute. And if this would have came out in 2014, 2015, when I was really into collecting Mac collections, um, I probably would have bought it. But the Whitney today knows how to say no. <laughs> I know how to say no today. <laughs> so I'm going to be passing on this, but this does look really pretty. And I'm happy that, you know, Tiana Taylor got herself a nice little collab. Okay, girl. Makeup Forever is coming out with another concealer. Makeup Forever is one of those brands, it's another one of those brands that, you know, kind of like Urban Decay, kind of like Becca, like they were like up there and then I don't know what happened. Like they keep on relaunching complexion because they don't know what else to put out at this point. That's what I truly believe in my heart. They really don't know what else to put out. Why are you launching another concealer? You just had that other concealer that it's also a dope applicator that came out with, um, was it last summer or the summer before last? It came out at some point, it was not too far back. So I don't understand why they're coming out with another concealer, but it's a matte velvet skin. So it's going along with their matte velvet line. <sighs> they just keep redoing complexion and it's just like, I want all these brands to just stop creating products and just sit down and go back to the drawing board. At, not even just go back to the drawing board, do some research, okay? See what's trending, okay? See what people actually like and take that and try to be innovative if possible. I get it, everything has been done underneath the sun, but there's still a way to be creative with something, okay? This looks boring. Skipping it. Urban Decay, Brother Urban, come on up because we gonna talk about you too. They're coming out with a palette called Stoned and it's in the same format of like their electric palette and Urban Decay is another brand that is struggling too as far as creativity. They don't know what to put out. They really don't. Like they keep reach, they, they don't know. Like they are struggling. They want to do eyeshadow so bad. Honestly, Urban Decay, I don't really like their eyeshadow formula. It's not bad, but like when you've experienced greatness, greatness as in like Colored Rain, Juvia's Plays, Anastasia, like, you know, better brands that have a better formula, you're just like, why did I go so hard for Urban Decay? That's how I feel. Like, I just don't feel like the brand is honestly that interesting anymore. I feel like back then when, you know, we didn't have stuff like Melt Cosmetics, Urban Decay definitely was like that more edgier looking brand, kind of like Kat Von D was. It's no for me. This palette they're coming out with, it's called Stoned Vibes. And the picture looks heavily edited. I already know it's not going to look at a person. And if it does look like that in person, it's just going to be that top layer. The minute you swatch it, um, it's not going to look like that anymore. So I will be skipping out on that. Violet Voss is coming out with a palette as well too. Their Sakura, Sakura, their Sakura Blossom palette. I just don't care for the way this palette looks. Moving on. Oh, Kylie up again. So Kylie is coming out with some bronzing sticks. And honestly, my only issue with this is that they don't look like bronzers. They look like contour shades. And yeah, they don't look like bronzers. And you can really tell because on the, the arm swatch of the deeper complected um, arm, like look at those two bottom shades. They look so cool on her arm but on the other two arms they pull warmer well at least the second to the last one so yeah they just don't look like bronzers and also yet again i don't really care for cream products so i'll just skip it out on that color pop is coming out with a new foundation and it is their hydrating foundation it's gonna six sixteen dollars sixteen dollars uh, i i did ColourPop always try? No, they didn't. Because their concealers when they first came out were like, what, $5? And I believe their foundation was like $10, no more than $12. $16? Oh, it's because they added hyaluronic acid, right? And they made it vegan. And, and they put coconut water in it. And and it's dermatologist tested. So therefore, they said, we're just going to bump it up a little bit more. Um, Not for no ColourPop. And I'm sorry. I, with the way ColourPop puts out products so fast, I don't trust them when it comes to stuff like this. Just because, 
are you guys really taking your time to make sure you're giving us quality or you're just putting out product because you're known as a brand that puts out product? Like, they make fun of it. They know they are. No, I'm not buying that. And then let me look at the shades. They do have a lot of shades. I will say that I feel like the deepest shade honestly could have been deeper. Like, Nima Tang is darker than the last girl in the face chart. Yeah, they definitely could have gone, like, like probably like two, two, three more shades deeper. Like, two more. Two more deeper. I'm not going to be buying that. Okay, this is what I want to talk about. Uh, uh Morphe. Come on up. Come on up, because you won't get talked about today. Morphe and Coca-Cola. Um... How? Why? When did this happen? Let me say something about Morphe. You know, back when you didn't know any better, Morphe was just like all knowing. It just, it was everything. Like, you know, it's Morphe. Like, it's so cheap. But now that it's literally like, I can't even use these products that I bought years ago because I just know better. I have better products. And Morphe shadows are so hard pressed. I only really like the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, whatever formula that she did, I do like that. But their shadows are also hard pressed to me. But this palette just looks, it looks like any other Morphe palette. They just went and took that middle row, added three little red looking shades, threw a little light blue. But if you take that out, it looks like all their other palettes with autumn browns like morphe has browned us to death we got so many browns from all the palettes we bought we don't need any more and then also morphe is also collaborating collaborating with maddie ziegler and here's my issue her palette actually looks cute um i'm just not interested in buying it i cannot stand and anastasia was guilty of this last year i don't like when brands decide to collaborate with someone and don't give them their shine like that thing pisses me off that person worked so hard on their products and you just are gonna put out another collab. Like, I cannot stand that, that's annoying to me. So I don't like the fact that they're, those two collabs are so close together because I just feel like that person should get their shine. Like, you know, push that. Stop trying to put out products so fast and like, oh, here's another one, here's another one, here's another one. We only got so much money. Like, we only got so much money. The people who got all the goddamn money, you give them the stuff for free. So please help me understand why you keep coming out with stuff so fast. Like. <laughs> We're in the middle of a global pandemic. People have lost their jobs, okay? That little stimulus check. I didn't even get one. So help me understand. I don't understand why these companies keep putting out the stuff so fast. Like, <laughs> the people who actually can afford to buy the stuff like that, you send it to them for free. Okay, anyways, moving on. Um, Yeah, again, Morphe has another um, product coming out. It is their face palettes. I don't know if it's out already. It probably is out already. I don't know if these products are out. I'm not looking at the time when they came out, but if they are, then they are. They're coming out with five new face palettes. And I, I personally will be buying this, but I love the idea of it. I love, love, love this idea and concept of taking a face palette and making it cater to a certain skin tone. Like light, fair, medium, tan, deep. That makes sense. Then creating something that is going to be yeah, like everybody can wear it, but at the same time, the person who's buying it probably can't wear all the shades in there. I feel like those type of palettes are better suited for makeup artists because obviously they have clients of different skin tones and whatnot. So I love this idea. I just will be picking it up. But um, the two deeper ones, they are cute. I will give them that. They are cute. Oh, um, Mel Cosmetics is coming out with a, a new palette called She's in Parties. And it looks a little... It, it doesn't look like it, but it gives off the vibes of the Kat Von D. It wasn't her Lolita palette. It gives off those vibes. These type of colors are so interesting. I like purple, but not like mauvey purples like this. I only like that one shade called Mean Streak. That's a really pretty color. But yeah. <laughs> Brother Tom. Brother Tom Ford, is he in the house? Is he in the church today? Brother Tom, come on down to the pool because God's got a word for you. Oh, we got a word for you today, Brother Tom. <laughs> Tom Ford, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Like, Tom Ford is one of those luxury brands that is ridiculously expensive. Like, we know like Pat McGrath is expensive, but at the same time, she's not like crazy expensive. Like she is, but like, it's not that bad. Tom Ford, like, he goes overboard. I believe, actually, I have a Tom Ford eyeliner. I have a Tom Ford quad. 
Mind you, I didn't buy any of this stuff that was given to me. And I know both of those products, one of them is probably like 50 something and the other one's probably like in the 80s. I don't know. It's expensive. His lip gloss is $55. Like, who child. So he's coming out with a new foundation and it is, uh, how much is this foundation? It's $88 and it has 40 shades. I will say they did try with the shades. They, they tried and I'm looking at the colors and you know, for the most part, eh, <sighs> like some of the shades look really, um, they look very, very neutral and cool toned, which, you know, good for you. But there's also people who are, you know, black that are warm toned. So yeah, but, 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 but. As much as I'm roasting this product right now, I definitely do want to try a sample. I'm not going to lie. As much as these brands are crazy expensive, I actually do like a lot of these like luxurious high-end brands. Like I love the YSO. Their Fusion Ink Foundation. Love it. Dior um, Forever Matte is literally my favorite foundation of all times. I love that foundation. The only one that I tried that was that was like high-end that I didn't like was like the Burberry Foundation. I returned that. I actually did a video on my channel like reviewing it. So if it's anything like the Burberry Foundation where it did not live up to any of the claims, oh, absolutely not but i will be buying this but i do want to try like a little sample out oh wait a minute we can't give out samples at sephora anymore well i don't know maybe gotta wait till next year at this point because i'm not buying it okay sister ysl sister ysl where is she is she in the church today sister y come on down to the altar because we got a word for you um who do you think you are? Like, who do you really, really think you are charging somebody $110 for a 10 pan eyeshadow palette? Hmm? Who? Oh, oh. So because you saw Pat McGrath charging 120 something and Natasha charging 120 to 200 something that you could do it too? Absolutely not. You have not proven yourself. You got some good, I will say you got some good complexion, but eyeshadow? First and foremost, these eyeshadow palettes literally look like, um, NYX palettes. They look like NYX palettes. They look like they can be makeup revolution palettes. Just literally take take those shadows out of the packaging it's in and envision it in some clear pa packaging like NYX and, and makeup revolution. And don't it look like it? I'm tired of like these cash grabs. Like these companies. Here, here, here's here, Listen, hear me out. Okay, I recently just bought three Mothership palettes. This is my first ever super, super high-end purchase of eyeshadows. And I bought them from, I bought them and here's the thing i feel like people are okay with having to spend well not everybody but some people who do buy like pat mcgrath and tasha Denona, like they are okay with spending that money on these palettes because they have proven themselves that they are worthy of that price they have proven to actually you know be of good quality why is so huh when did you like eyeshadow when did you start liking eyeshadow? I'm not buying this. I do want to swatch them and see because I just, mm -mm, no, no, mm -mm. I have to swatch it before I can even sit up here and continue to comment on it. Natasha Denona, speaking of high end, she is coming out with another palette or it's released already, her bronze collection. It's actually a whole collection and that palette looks absolutely gorgeous i personally just would not be buying this because i know i already have stuff like that i know i can do that entire palette um the glosses i'm not too crazy of her formula i have swatched them while in store i think what turns me off the most is the smell of it i don't like the smell so i just can't even get past that and then the little face palette yet again i don't really care for cream products like that so no um who else who else oh yeah i'm gonna roast jeffree star y'all know i don't care too much for him or shane dawson and all that's going on in the beauty community and i think they are just horrible people but let's talk about that cremated palette because i just think it's very very ugly yeah th there there i said it it's ugly like i don't understand why you came out with a palette with that many shades um and they're all very similar now, I'm gonna give a solution. What he should have done with that palette is something like ColourPop Smoke Show. This makes sense. It's a theme palette, but I can literally get use out of all of this because it's kind of like the same thing essentially, but a palette that big, I just don't think it makes sense. He should have done something like this, you know, a smaller palette because I don't really see why you would need a palette that big with that many shades. And they look very ashy. Um, yet again, I get it, that's the whole, um, theme of it cremation when you die i mean 
at this point you're dead so you really won't be that warm so it makes sense for it to be ashy but i mean that's just ashy it's ugly i don't i don't buy anything from him no mo i haven't bought anything from him in years and Mm -mm. Next up, we have KK Beauty. She is coming out with some lip glosses, and they actually do look cute. And some lipsticks, and they're all nude. It's very Kim Kim's vibe. Like everything is always very, very neutral and nude. And I guess my only little issue with, I mean, her glosses are cute. I just, I don't know if I'm opposed to not. I don't think I'm opposed to not buying her lip glosses. I actually am intrigued. I think it's more so her lipsticks that I don't care. And here's my issue with Kim K. It's her packaging. Like I don't get it. Like she. Kim K gives off such luxury vibes. Like, I mean, she does, you know? So I'm surprised that her packaging, it looks like Mika K packaging, the stuff that you see at the beauty supply store. I just feel like she should honestly revamp her lipstick, like the packaging. If she does that, I would actually be interested in buying, buying them. Like, cause she, I like neutral nude colors on my lips. Today's, I'm actually doing something a little different, doing something bold. And then she was coming on another eyeshadow palette. Honestly, it's, it's honestly a pretty palette. It's very neutral, it's very everyday, but I'm pretty sure I can dupe these colors. So I'm gonna be passing on that. And then, let me do one more. I guess we will end it off with House Labs. So that's Lady Gaga's makeup line. And honestly, the palette just doesn't look that intriguing to me. Uh, blue eyeshadow is cute, but I don't really gravitate towards it. I love me pink, purple, and green eyeshadow any day. I, I love those colors on myself. So that's why this just doesn't call my name. And looking at the swatches, I dislike it even more now that I'm looking at the swatches because they just don't look like, mm. no. And then lastly, actually last one, the 420 palette by Melt Cosmetics. Now that one I'm actually on the fence about. Like I just bought the Gemini palette and I kind of want the 420 palette. But then at the same time, I'm just like, <sighs> Gemini palette kind of has similar shades. Safari Rain has similar shades. You got other shades in your collection that got look like that. Like. You know you got something like that. So I think I'm just going to end up skipping that. All right, you guys. So that is the end of this video. I definitely want to do another one of these videos like later on when more stuff comes out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yet again, don't take any of this to heart. It's just fun, okay? It's just fun. Make sure you like the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. And um, follow me on Instagram. And until next time, I'll talk to you beauties later. Bye.